Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of the, the Cubicle.us, the Valk Valk 3M. Now, first, the short version. This cube is really good for two-handed solving and is my new main. However, the cube is not that great for one-handed solving, and it's a bit expensive. It's $49 on the Cubicle.us, which is quite expensive. Now, you could get 5% off that order if you use the discount code POCKETS, which can save you 5% off on any order. However, it's still expensive even if you do that. Link in the description to buy it. Now I noticed that they were sold out earlier, but they will be getting back in stock at some point soon. Now for the long version. So in case you don't know, the, the Valk M is a the Valk cube with magnets added to the pieces so that they lock together and it acts sort of like a ball bearing mechanism like you would find in some pyraminxes or skubes. The magnets don't slow down the turning, they just make it more accurate. This allows fast turners to worry less about accuracy and be able to go really fast without worrying about lockups as much. Well at first it might seem like the magnets make it harder to turn because you're always resisting the magnets whenever you try to do a turn. That's not actually the case. In fact, when I'm doing normal 3x3 solves, I don't even notice that the magnets are there. Corner cutting is the same as any other the Valk, and speed is just as fast. Overall, for two-handed solving, I love the, the Valk M, and it only seems to improve my solves. While the very slight resistance caused by the magnets to solves during two-handed solves is not a big deal, for one-handed it is slightly more of a problem. I did a bunch of solves and algorithms one-handed earlier, and I actually noticed that my fingers started to hurt a little bit. It's not super bad, but it is something that is noticeable. Now the cube turns just fine, it just makes my fingers sore. That's the sort of thing that I might be able to build up my muscular endurance to be able to deal with it, because it's sort of just breaking the force of a turn. It takes a little bit more force, and especially for doing pulling with my fingers. That requires a little bit extra force, and just when you're doing a lot of that, it makes your fingers sore. And if you build up your muscles, that won't happen eventually. But for now, I think I'm going to be sticking with a regular, non-magnetic The Valk for one-handed solves. And of course, I had to do the cool thing and try to assemble the cube without a core just to see if it would work, which it did, by the way. I mean, it turns okay. Let's just say it's a little bit unstable. So that's my review of the, the Cubicle.us, the Valk Valk 3M. Overall, really good cube. I would recommend it to anyone who can afford it, not only because it's a really good cube, but because it's really cool just to have and use. Like, it's super innovative, and for a lot of people, I think it will improve your solves. I should mention that out of the box, mine was a little bit too tight, so I just loosened it up on all the sides, and other than that, it was just how it was out of the box. The cubicle lubes it for you and everything. And yeah, it's a great puzzle. So, once again, use the discount code POCKETS for 5% off any order at the cubicle.us if you want to get this cube or anything else, and you know what? I'll see you on Friday.